BYOD, bring your own device. Now, I just want to set a little bit of backdrop here. Mm -hmm. Where BYOD came from is the consumerization of IT. So we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. where employees, <clears throat> people, and even partners come to come after Christmas, especially yes, and Hanukkah, not the Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa, and Kwanzaa, um, come looking with correct. their new device, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a tablet, whatever it is, they come in and they go to their IT department. And they say, set this up. I want this to work on our network, okay? And that's that was the consumerization of IT because IT departments over the past two years have been scrambling like mad to accommodate these types of requests from people. BYOD, bring your own device, actually refers to a strategy, okay? It is the IT department maybe conceding to the consumerization of IT, mm -hmm. but saying, you know what, we're gonna actually make this our strategy. I believe the IT departments uh, have been, uh, you know, scrambling is a very nice word. I think they've been reeling trying to figure out how to make heads or tails of this because the first, the first wave got told no. Mm -hmm. You can't have those devices here. Back, back in the days of Blackberry. Right. You, <clears throat> you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, as, as devices, as the variety of devices grew, and more, I guess more to the point, as consumers begin to not listen and begin <laughs> to demand that they have these, right. and it was, it was really a almost a, a running at the gate of, of the IT department. Well, to, also to it's, make it's a different change. level person, right? The the partners and the COOs and the CEOs yeah. and CFOs were coming and saying, "Do, do this. this, do so this." So it's not like they had much of a choice no, either. No, and uh, and so it, what we're seeing now is. Now these devices are here. It's going to be very, very, very important mm -hmm. um, because of the sheer volume of devices running into, running into and leaving the office. Mm -hmm. The IT department must get this under control now. Right, they must. Be because, because of the security risk. Absolutely. Ultimately, this Absolutely. is a massive security risk to any organization. Absolutely. And, <clears throat> you know, what... It seems simple. It's like, hey, uh, we want, I want my email. But in comes that email with a PDF that might contain you know, sensitive information, might mm -hmm. contain a corporate document, might, might, might contain electronic patient health information okay, or financial information. And they open it up in Goodreader or they open it up in one of those PDF reading apps, wherever. Mm -hmm. And then a copy of it is saved on that phone. What happens to that data? Where does that go? What happens if the employee loses the phone? What happens if they leave the organization? All these things now have to be accounted for. Absolutely. Look, one of the things we're recommending is that if you do have a BYOD policy, it without a doubt contains the right for the organization to wipe that, that phone. I think or wipe the device at a bare minimum. I think that's. A, I think that needs to be a bare. That's minimum. the bare minimum. Bare minimum. Like there's no point in having a policy if you can't enforce it. You can't that. wipe it. You don't. Right. And so that means that whether it's because part of the issue is who owns the iPad. Is it is it my iPad or is, or is the company providing iPads? Because and if the company is providing the iPads, can I put personal apps on it? You know, it it's sticky. It's a yes, sticky it situation, and you need to think through the different parts of it and you need to have a policy. I think you have to, you have to look at it um, company by company mm -hmm. um, and you have to make what choices, you have to make the choices that are right for your culture and your organization and your level of security. Um, but it's not easy. Let me be the devil's advocate. Oh, no. What's the big deal? It's a phone. I got email. I have email on my desk. I can print out emails and I can forward them to my Gmail account. You can. I can go to the, uh, the shared drive and get data off of it and put it, on, put it on a thumb drive. The organization should be happy that I want to be connected all of the time. What's the big deal? If I leave, I'll just wipe it myself because I don't want the company's data on my phone because I paid for this phone. What's the problem? The simple problem is that it's out of the company's control. Is that you've just take you've just distributed control to everyone in the organization. Is that a problem? It depends on your size. If you're a three person company, no. If you're <laughs> if you're a two hundred and fifty person organization, you know, you probably have an issue with it.
Thank you.